Alright. So I did cell phones and I had uh I had Apple, the Jitterbug, and Boost Mobile. They're all their own brands. So here's Apple. And uh they came out with the iPhone first. It's pretty much the started what smartphones are today, by all means. Alright, so they're at the top of their brand. What? They uh they sell the most products for uh, the iPhone. People love it. They're always buying the new ones. There's lines out the door. They're not having any issues with sales. and They don't, they don't cut prices till they release a new one, so they're not really hurting yet. And uh, their target market. So they're, they're going to look for college students, you know, walk into your class, listen to music, send the emails. Everything you do, like waste time playing games during class, everybody does. And uh, professionals, you know, you, you're traveling around the world, you need to get to your emails, contact your business, keep everything organized. It's, it's going to help you out. Smartphone users, you know, people already have smartphones, but they're looking for new things. And Apple has pretty much what you want. It's a, it's a global market. You can kind of tell by the picture. There's another picture of that. All right, so the need states. I need a new iPhone because mine is six months old. Like pe people are just buying new iPhones because the next one came out. There's nothing wrong with what they own. They just want the latest and greatest, and that's what they see it as. So you have people who just buy it as an image. You know, they want everybody to know they have an iPhone. They're hip. This guy bought his iPhone five. The first day it came out, and he's pretty pumped, but, you know, it's kind of a douchebag, too. <laughs> it's just, like, even the emails come with, sent from my iPhone. Like, that gets pretty annoying. I was going and delete it when you send one, so you don't look like that person. All right. So uh, you got the people who just love Apple in general. You know, Apple's the greatest. You see them in the coffee shops, hanging out, playing on their like computers, typing stories or whatever they do, poetry. You know, it's like the hipster thing. And uh, and you have like the fanboys up there, thinking they're the greatest with their funky hats and stuff. Then uh, I gotta get me one of those. <laughs> another thing they do is. Making a easier access for like what your company's doing. You can go in and look over your PowerPoints before you present, or make a quick one when you didn't for work on the way into work. They're just helpful for uh, somebody on business. Uh, here are owners. You know, it's pretty much they're targeting everyone. No one's like out of their reach. You have uh, rich people. You know, the average Joe. You have college students. Everybody has an iPhone. And uh, their, their statement is, for anyone who wants the best product, Apple is the only name known and respected worldwide because only Apple delivers great products and exceptional customer service. Next so we have the Jitterbug. As you can see, it's for older people. It's got big buttons. It's easy to use. That kind of got moved up. And they're going to go with a flanking strategy. You know, uh, they have a pretty specific user group, and uh, they offer a product most others don't. There's no real competition for what they're trying to do. And I think that picture pretty much sums it up. Where the boomers and their parents uh, talking to an older generation, you know, their target market. Uh, it's basically for those of advanced years and like those getting to those years with family members who they want to convince to have a cell phone. It's just easier if you have an easy to use cell phone. You're not going to have as many fights. All right, so uh, I need a user friendly phone. Older people don't want all sorts of buttons. They don't need the internet. They're not going to use it. There's no reason for them to have a data plan or text messaging. And uh, pretty much a minimalist. All they want is to make calls. They don't they don't need extra things. There's, it's just a phone to them. Uh, keep it simple, stupid. As you can see, like the phone has three different buttons. That's all you really need. 
and not too many people want much more than that. It gives them that option. And buyers, you know, you have the you have the older person. They're gonna show a younger person with it, so it doesn't make old people feel old. But that's just how they do it. You have like the younger person with with their parent, I guess. Uh, for anyone who wants a simple, easy to use phone, Jitterbug is the only one that provides a phone designed to be extremely user friendly, because only Jitterbug gives simplicity you expect. So we got Boost Mobile now, and uh, they're a pretty big company. They sell plans you can go by like monthly basis. They're going to go with a flanking strategy, mainly because they can't compete on the large scale like Singular or Verizon. So they're going to they're going to go with what they can sell and where they can. You can see like they have a billboard up at a bus stop. Which is a lot of people who don't drive ride buses and you can plan that they don't have the most money in the world. Their target market. That shouldn't be there, but yeah, it should. We have a like a lower income, you know, someone who might not have enough money. People who aren't looking for the year contract. Someone who travels for a reason, like, like a mariner might actually look into this. They're away for three months at a time. There's no reason for paying for what you're not using. Just save money. Uh, someone who's not looking for the two year contract, you know, they might be coming to the States for a little bit, leaving and then coming back. There's no reason to have it. It's just gonna charge you extra money. Uh, certain people, they can't afford like next month's bills something might have come up that took more money like fixing your car and they don't have the money to pay for another cell phone bill so they don't need to incur charges or have their credit score damaged by not being able to pay a bill so someone who need choices certain months you can uh, add like more minutes or more text messages you can go to their stores and pay in cash if you don't have a bank account which really helps certain uh, people uh, their users have uh, just average people. Someone who travels the world might actually buy it. Uh, for those who want low cost alternative phone plans, Boost Mobile is the only one who offers great phones with pay as you go. Because only Boost has great plans without contracts. There we go. All right, thank you. All right, Shane. It's so good to you.